Kylie Vitucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you and I'm doing a Facebook Live that is a bit random today and the reason that I have gone live today is because I was making some customer cards and thought why don't I just craft along with you. I was going to actually do a video of it and yeah I thought I'll jump on live and do it with you. So I thought I've got the Love It Chop It and I've got a brand new pack of paper, the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. And I've got a few little ideas that I wanna share with you so that you can hopefully learn a few more techniques and ideas. And if you're not part of our Love It Chop It Club or the workshop, please sign up. Now, the key with the Love It Chop It, because sadly today we had to decline quite a number of people because if you don't answer the questions, we decline. And the reason is to get keep the bad guys out, but also to keep you up to date so that you sign up for our Love It Chopper workshop and then you get all the updates that go with it, which is really cool. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> so if you're watching this live, of course, say hello, where are you from? If it's your first time watching me live, that's always exciting. If you're watching the replay either on Facebook or on YouTube, hello, good to see you. And put replay, because I love finding out who is watching the replay and maybe where you're from. That'd be lovely. It's always nice seeing where everyone is from around the world. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> So I am going to show you this absolutely stunning paper. I have already loved it, chopped it, because if you're part of my Love It, Chop It workshop, you will know how to cut your paper, your designer series paper, and there's a lot of 12 by 12 paper coming in the new catalog. Oh, it's actually a top. It's my Uniqlo top. Uh, so I'm just going to put the actual link that you need to get in the group because I know there's a lot of people trying to get in. So there is the link. If you're not in it, that's what that's where you need to sign up and you will be sent an email and it will have a password attached and you need to put the password in to get access to the group. It's all a bit top secret. <laughs> Cheryl from the Gold Coast. That's where I used to come from. I lived on the Gold Coast most of my life. That's an interesting one from Bowina. I can't read that. It's in Holland. What do you speak? What language do you speak in Holland? Is it Dutch? I think it's Dutch. Good morning, Rachel. It's good evening here in Australia. <laughs> so I'm going to jump right in and show you this absolutely stunning paper. You are going to need Love It, Chop It to help you cut this paper because I'm telling you, you are going to have serious difficulties if you're someone that doesn't usually chop your paper. You'll find this even harder than usual <laughs> because it's so beautiful. <laughs> so this is the paper, Perennial Essence. Now, I want to let you know, if you live in Australia, that you may add this to your starter kit right now. So if you join up, you may get any of the items that I'm showing you today, you may get them now. Otherwise, you have to wait until the 1st of June to place your order. So if you can't wait, if you see these products and you're like, oh my goodness, I have to have them today, yesterday, <laughs> then really consider joining up because once you join up, you can get all these brand new products at a cheaper discount. You get $66 of free product here in Australia when you use when you join up and get the starter kit. And you also get 20% off all of your items once you join. And I'm telling you, you're gonna need 20% off when you see this new catalog. <laughs> Hello everyone, good to see you. Now these ones here, I have separated each of these pieces because they're kind of um, the same as you can see loved it chopped it um, so these pieces here some are landscape and one some are portrait I've done a bit of both you know it's good to mix things up make life interesting 
So this paper is absolutely stunning. So this, these papers here I decided would match perfectly with my Blackberry Bliss because there's quite a number of different colors in this um, pack of paper. Actually, do I have the list here? Yes. So the list is, we've got Barney Blue. I have all of them here so you can see it. So we've got Barney Blue, we've got Blackberry Bliss. So here's our Barney Blue. Uh, where are you? There's a lot of colors in this. So Barney Blue, Blackberry Bliss, uh, Mossy Meadow. Is it Mossy Meadow? I'm having a brain for it. Yep, Mossy Meadow. And I'm actually going to be doing that as a card base for a lot of them. Old Olive, Petal Pink, Crushed Curry, Blueberry Bushel, Flirty Flamingo, uh, we've got some So Saffron, and Calypso Coral. <laughs> can you believe how many th there's different colors that go in this? So you can really choose and mix and match what you would like to use as your card base. Uh, but I have picked Petal Pink for a few. And the ones that I picked Petal Pink with, so these ones here are going to be Blackberry Bliss. So there's all my Blackberry Bliss cardstock ready to go. Because each pack of designer series paper 12 by 12 paper will give you 72 cards so hello sarah berry so 72 cards from one pack of designer series paper so that's why it's really awesome to hashtag love it chop it and get the most out of your designer series paper instead of letting it sit on the shelf we don't want it sitting on the shelf we want it being chopped and making beautiful cards. So this is gonna be our landscape and there's our portrait and that's gonna be with the petal pink. So I just put it up against it and then when it sparks joy, I'll do a Marie Kondo. Ah, Spark joy. Then I know that that's the color base that I want. So they're all petal pink, we'll put that aside. And then these ones here were really interesting because I thought this one here will be gorgeous. What did I decide for that one? Let me have a look. Ah, yes, I did Old Olive with this one because I really wanted that gorgeous tree leaf to pop out. So that's what I did with that one. And then we also have, oh yeah, these ones up here. Oh, no, you know what I did for these ones? I was like, something's not right. So these ones are going to be my Blackberry Bliss, and I'll show you why in a second. But these ones I pulled out because I wanted to use Mossy Meadow because um, it's just a colour that I haven't used a lot of. And at the moment, it is so hot right now to put pink and a dark, like a green, like a Mossy Meadow together. And you can see here, like... Wowza, how good does that look on there? Oh, beautiful. And this one here, it just really grabs that green out and yeah, loving it. So let's start doing a little bit of compiling and I want to show you a few of the ideas that I've come up with for an accent. So I'll just do the Mossy Meadow ones for now. And you're going to want to make sure that you have lots of Tombow glue on hand if you're a Tombow glue person. If not, have a lot of adhesive on hand because you use a lot, a lot, a lot. When you're doing Love It, Chop It, it's probably the main thing that you use. So I'm just going to grab a brand new bottle because uh, I do have this one. I'll use this one, sorry. And we're going to do some fun little techniques and few ideas here. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful, this paper. So this is Perennial Essence. So I'll get my Mossy Meadow. And we'll do that one there. Two of those, so I'll do a one of each type. There we go. And then all we do, because I've loved it, chopped it, all we're gonna do is just stick that down. 
Now, before I stick it down, because I always forget this, but I do have a beautiful ribbon here that I'm gonna see if it goes with this. So this is a brand new ribbon. Uh, again, you can get it in your starter kit. So this is the scallop lace trim. And we can just pop that along the edge there. And we're going to bring in some interesting little techniques with this because I'm just going to get my Mossy Meadow ink because I'm going to use this beautiful sentiment here. Now, please don't kill me. You may kill me for this. I may get backlash. <laughs> but I have the beautiful stamp set from, it's brand new. And again, you can get it in your starter kit if you join now. Uh, but it's a stamp set from, inspired by Mary Ellen Byler. And I absolutely love it, but I wanted a little bit more versatility with this stamp set. So here's the stamp set here. And I'll show you my block and I'll see if you can see. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. It is hand painted. So I'll see if you can see what I've done here. So this is what we're going to use today. <laughs> so this one here, hello friend. I loved it and chopped it. To my polymer stamp set. I know, I chopped my stamp set. So we've got this one here that's to be your friend, but now it's to be your and friend is over here. <laughs> friend, friend has now got its own little place. <laughs> and I think that this will give me a lot more versatility. And the thing is, is if I want to still do to be your friend, it's so easy. I'll just stick it on my block and put it together or I could even do to be your and have friend down below like I've got a kind of you know a few ideas that I can use that with so yeah it just creates a new little stamp for me so if you're brave enough I don't know if you're brave enough but <laughs> you can chop your stamps which is super exciting and that is a beautiful beautiful stamp. it comes in a bundle so if you know that you're going to get this one, get the bundle because you'll get 10% off when you get it in the bundle form. Now, what we're going to do, I'll just grab my Mossy Meadow because I only have my Blackberry Bliss here. So we need Mossy Meadow, I need Old Olive, and I need, what's the other one that we're doing? Oh, I don't know about the petal pink. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll do, I'll do some, um, embossing with that one do it do it yeah chop your stamps people chop them <laughs> do you love your stamps well chop your stamps <laughs> so oh good i'm glad there's a few brave people out there they're gonna chop it but i thought it's just it gives me more yeah more flexibility to do cool things with it so i've got my mossy meadow Stamp, and I'm going to use some Whisper White cardstock. I've got it chopped up here, ready to go. And I really, I really actually found it quite challenging to work out how I wanted the placement because now that a lot of our circle punches are going, uh, it's quite, yeah, quite a challenge to sort of mount them and make them sort of look good with layers. And I didn't want to use my, I wanted to just use punches because they're my customer cards and I'm doing quite a number of them. I just wanted to make sure that, yeah, I didn't use the big shot for it because it's it's quite a lot of work when I do it with the big shot. <laughs> I've done some stamp chopping. So I've just done Hello Friend in the Mossy Meadow. And I literally am going to chop it with my scissors. I'm really into this lately because it's just, I don't know, it just creates a bit more freedom. So I basically just eyeballed it and do not stress if it's crooked. I keep saying that, but I really genuinely mean it. 
So that is our, going to be our sentiment and I'm going to do it in each of the colors. So I've done it in the Blackberry Bliss and it looks amazing. And then I'm going to bring in, so I've got my Hello Friend. We're going to have our beautiful new Scarlet Lace ribbon. So let's do our ribbon. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, that ribbon? <gasps> Breathtaking. The best way I have found to do my ribbon is to use our tear and tape because the tear and tape is amazing and super easy. You love the half screen. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it works well with this sort of thing. When I'm doing 12 by 12, it's a little bit difficult. So I'll just grab my tear and tape and the best thing is that you can tear it and that it's tape. It's really sticky. So I'll tear that off and just pop it on the back of the card and then pretty much just stick it down because even though this is loose here, I actually don't mind it because it's, it's gonna be definitely sticky enough. So we'll do one there. I do one side first because then I can line it up better. Betterer. <laughs> Hi Julie, hi everyone. Thanks for everyone jumping on. So once I've done that side, I can sort of gauge better like where, where it needs to go. Turn it over and I can see where it's lined up or estimate. Pull that off, come back around and line it up again. And I'm gonna basically just look at it as I'm pulling it under. Just make sure your fingers aren't getting stuck because man, tear and tape is sticky. And that is not it. It's not tight enough. <laughs> this, this lace is actually really springy. It's got spring in its step. It's like, boing. So it's, it's, yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> it really has a lot of spring. So then I'm going to stick it down onto the card base, which we can do now. Now, please, people who stress out about which side do I use and which, which, what do I do? Just know that if you really want to get more designer series paper, you have permission. I have given you permission to get more. So do not feel guilty about gluing the back and not using it because seriously, which one are you going to use? Uh, totally the flowers. Make the choice and be brave with it. So don't feel any guilt whatsoever about gluing the other side because I know a lot of people stress about that. Now we've got this one here. Now I don't know if my little idea is going to fit with this type of card. I probably should have done my actual prototype that I had ready. But no, Kylie loves to be different. <laughs> so what you could do is, and we'll have a look and see where it might go but we can play around with it. I know it goes with the other one, but for now we can just put this on. I'm gonna put dimensionals on. I don't love it as much because those flowers are just so pretty. So what we might be able to do actually. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. I got it. I know what I'm gonna do. Well, hopefully it works out because I haven't tried it. But this is this is literally how I create. <laughs> you just try it and then if it works, you go, oh, good, we'll do that then. So I'm going to cover in this space here because it's quite a lot of space there, like empty space. So I'm not covering a beautiful flower or anything like that. I have no guilt putting that there. And then what I'm going to do, oh, hopefully I can find it. It's all right. I know where they're kept if I can't find one here. I have plenty of backups. Yeah, I'll have to get my backup. We must have been using it. We've been very busy with our Everything is Rosy bundle, which has been very exciting doing the tutorial for that. Oh, sorry, everyone. I've moved you. And a hundred things fell over. All right, let me get it from here. I've got my stash. I hope I have a stash here. Yes, I do. I've got a stash of um, bins, gold bins, with my stash of Bow Easy Makers. Thank you, stash of Bow Easy Makers. 
<laughs> I'm constantly losing it. So it's good I've got like 50 of them, 100 of them. <laughs> so I'm going to do a bow. Ah, let's do it. So with ribbon like this, I think it will be good. Uh, we'll test it out anyway. We'll see how flimsy it is and see if it holds enough. Because I'm thinking of doing, in fact, we'll start with two. Hello. Hello, everyone. Say hello when you pop in. I'm doing my customer cards at the moment for all my lovely customers. We've been so busy that we've got a little bit behind. So I thought I'll show them all the brand new products and then say, come and join us. We want you to come and join our team. Because seriously, if you spend more than $125 a month, it's a no brainer. You need to join. I'm not showing you the tutorial of the Bow Easy here, but if you'd like one, I have it on YouTube. So if you haven't got a Bow Easy Maker, head over to my little store and you can get yourself one because they just make the cutest bows. Look at this. Ah, they're so cute. I think this is the right thing to do. I'll put that link up for you too because I know a lot of you will go, where do I get that? If I don't put the link now, Oh, look at that. <laughs> so cute. Now, remember with something like this, in fact, I'll show you exactly here what you can do. With something that's white, I'll get a block so I don't end up with ink all over me. I'll just get it all over the block. We'll do a little bit of colouring in. So I just grab the ink and then put it back on the top so that then you're not having to swap it around. But... Yeah, it's really cool because you can colour it anything you want. So just remember that with the, um, I've got a tweezer here with the white ribbon that it can become whatever colour you like. I mean, this is more of a vanilla, but it still works. So FYI, remember that little tip. So yes, this bow is so cute. Now, I'll put up the link to my shop. You can get all sorts of cool stuff there. Is that right? Yes, good, it worked. So I'll stick this down with a glue dot because a glue dot is awesome. You could also do Tombow if you wanted to. I've seen people do Tombow, but I like the glue dot. So I just stick it to the glue dot, pull the glue dot off, and then stick it down. Oh my goodness. So cute. So that is how easy it is when you do a love it, chop it card. I know we all need that in our life. It is the coolest little tool and it makes seven different sizes. And I ship worldwide in case you're asking. Um, it's the same price for everywhere. $10 Australian. So very, very simple. You can see that I haven't over embellished. It's been very um, easy to put together. If you wanted to step it up, you totally could by adding more layers in the background. But I think it looks beautiful just as is. It really is just so, you want that Stampin' Up! amazing paper to just sing and be the hero of the story because it's a winner winner chicken dinner. That is the best thing you could possibly do for your perennial essence is make it the hero. But I do want to show you and hopefully I can find everything that I had prepared because yeah, I've just got designer series paper everywhere. Let's try. I'm like, which one should I do? Oh, I know which one I'll do. I'll do this one, but I'm going to do it with the Blackberry Bliss because it's gonna look amazing. Hang on, let's let's try it next to it. Uh, maybe not that one actually, I need a light pink one. Oh, I know, here it is, this one here. And I'm gonna do it with Petal Pink Base. There we go. Ah oh, yeah, that's the one. 
Now, what else can I do here? I think I will be able to still use the Black Blackberry Bliss, but I will do a stamp off just so that it's not too dark. We don't want it to be too full on. So I'll do this. Yeah, it does remind me, this paper of Monet, Rachel, I agree. So that's our paper base. Then we get our beautiful ribbon, which you could totally colour in petal pink. Should we do it? Should we see what it looks like? It might disappear, though. I think I might leave it as is. Yeah, because it brings out the white flowers. But you totally can try that. Or should we try... Maybe we should try um, colouring it with rose gold shimmer paint. Should we do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. You had me at rose gold. Petal pink is the cardstock. Uh, so I need a background piece because it does get a little bit messy with the shimmer paint. So I'll bring this over. Now, this shimmer paint, you have to remember that this shimmer paint is, it literally could go any time now. So, if you need this shimmer paint in your life, you need to get the Everything is Rosy cards. Uh, Everything is Rosy. Look at me, I'm like, protect the nice paper, because this is going to get messy. Okay, so what you do, get some rose gold shimmer paint. Now, please remember that if you uh, want to come along to our Everything is Rosy class, that you can sign up. I think I've got it here, Everything is Rosy. I've got all these like quick pink. Thank you for replying to Anne. Everything is Rosy class, yes. So sign up for my free class there register and then you'll get all the details and I also have uh, the everything is rosy tutorial pre-order so Bruno and I are in the process of making the tutorial if you're watching the replay all the links will be below in YouTube or above in Facebook but these are the sort of things that these sort of tips I'm going to show you in the bundle and in the class but I'm using a sponge dauber and we'll just see what happens with this, hey? Literally, we are making rose gold ribbon. Yes, people, rose gold ribbon. Ah, oh, you had me at rose gold. I know people that are buying this bundle literally just for the shimmer paint. <laughs> and we have used, I'm so glad Bruno got another bundle, but seriously, we have used this so much, this shimmer paint and there's still stacks left in there we have been using it for aqua painters and sprays and we're trying like all sorts of cool new stuff that we've never done before with shimmer paint i've got like this whole new understanding of shimmer paint that i never had before <laughs> so i think that should be enough now i'll lift this up so you can see it and hopefully it carries through the shimmer let's have a look It doesn't have a huge amount of shimmer, but I do love the rose gold colour. And we'll see what it looks like against the um, the card. But if you want a little bit of shimmer, because this is all water-based, the shimmer paint is water-based, which is really cool. Ah, oh, aqua brush. So I could put a bit of Wink and Stella on top. Oh, is this a gold one? Why have I got the gold one? Oh! That needs to go in the retired list. Goodbye, gold. <laughs> we need the, the brush. I didn't even see that before. I must have had this one. Okay, yeah, that's better. Oh, well, that's definitely making it rose gold, isn't it? <laughs> I put some gold through it. <laughs> but yeah, Wink Stella. Awesome. So, we'll just make sure we move this because we don't want to get stuff everywhere on the paper. Let's just hold it up against it. Oh yeah, without the gold, it would be spot on. 
actually don't mind that at all if I do say so myself. But yeah, just have a play around with this beautiful ribbon, colour it in, have some fun. Oh, thanks Kayla, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Yep, spritzer, spray it over. Yep, there's all sorts of different ways you can do it. I've got a spritzer with my rose gold. I've got my, where is it over here? Uh, yeah, there it is. Oh no, that's not the one. Anyway, it is somewhere, but I've got an aqua painter full of rose gold. It's so much fun. Oh, actually it is here on the desk because I was playing with it. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. Aqua painter. <laughs> so you could do, yeah, totally awesome because you could totally, this one won't be too bad. We'll put it down here. In fact, no, Kylie, do not do it without a backup. Move that out of the way. <laughs> you tell me girls. Ooh, so this is rose gold with the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol. So it's a lot more subtle. In fact, it would look lovely on there. Let's do a bit of this. Oh yeah, it's coming through more now. Just make sure it's... So you get rubbing alcohol. Oh, that was a bit much there. <laughs> yep, it was working, Kylie. <laughs> it was coming through. Oh, that's so pretty. I really like that. Yeah, just play around, have fun. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, I like that even more. I think the, the gold on this, the Wink of Stella edition ruined it. But you could daub it or you can do this with the aqua paint. The best thing with the, um, using the alcohol, just want to make sure this is long enough before I chop it. Yes, it's long enough. Okay. You may move out of the way now. Thank you, backup protect, protecting paper. So we're going to use that in the background. Oh, so pretty. How pretty. You got your love at Chopper DSP. Yay! From the Goodbye Club. Oh, that's good, Tanya. I'm happy to hear that arrived and there'll be another one coming very very soon so watch out for that um we've got some paper here for our sentiment so let's come in with that and we'll do like i said before we'll stamp off first oh actually that doesn't look like it's on properly so we'll stamp off and then we'll stamp here. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. I like that because it's got this subtle pickup from the um, paper. You can see that this little bit of color here goes quite nicely with it. So I do like that. Yeah, it is a late one. I was going to film it off live and I thought, no, I'll just craft along with my peeps and show you some ideas that I've found lately. I've been having a lot of fun doing a lot more technique discovery, especially with the shimmer paints because we're doing the tutorial for everyone. So I thought, oh, I've got to learn some new, new ideas. It's always good to do that. Refresh yourself. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. And what I'm going to try, because with this um, Perennial Essence Designer Series paper, there's also Perennial Essence Vellum that comes, and that's also in the pre-order. So if you want to get that beautiful vellum, I'll show you it here. So we have, I've chopped one in half already, but the beautiful Petal Pink. I'm pretty sure it's Old Olive and Crushed Curry are the three colours. But 
I don't confirm nor deny that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it is. It might be so saffron, but I think it's crushed curry. But yes, there you go. Oh, look, I'm sure it'd be beautiful, Rachel, but I've chosen petal pink. <laughs> I'm going with petal pink. And that's not vanilla, so I can't change it now. <laughs> oh, cream, yeah. That would have to be cream too. I can't have it not matching. And the base of this is actually um, whisper white. So I do like trying to stick to what, if there was a very vanilla in the designer series paper, I'd go for the, like my designer series paper makes me pick what happens. It picks my colours for me, which is what we need. We need all the help we can get. Just tell me what colours to use designer series paper. You think it's saffron, Kayla? Green. Mr. Velum will love it. <laughs> so we'll do... Actually, I just want to lay this out because I want to see what it looks like and where I'm going to place my ribbon depending on how these flowers look. So with these flowers... I have done a few different prototypes here that I played around with and what you can do is you can get your, your vellum and you could do a few different techniques. This one here is actually doing the sponge dauber with, no I declined the meeting. I said nope not going and I messaged Claire. <laughs> I, I, I was missing from a demonstrator only meeting today. But I wasn't actually missing. I just said, no, I'm too busy today. <laughs> I need to work. <laughs> so I used the uh, Whisper White, the Frost White, sorry, on this one. How gorgeous are they? Ah, so pretty. And I used the Champagne on this one. Brilliant. And the other thing that you could do is just do Wink of Stella. But then I've also done this one. I'm going to add the little faceted gem into these ones as well. But I've done this one with the Shimmer cardstock and Rose Gold paint, Shimmer paint. So that's another one as well that you can do. So there's a lot of different ideas. I really love seeing the fold in the flower uh, because I didn't want to do too much stamping um, because, yeah, it's a bit challenging to stamp cut like it would just add a lot more work particularly when I'm doing a bulk amount I'm looking at doing say 77 of them so I want something that's going to be easily replicated and for me probably the quickest thing will be to use my wink of Stella I mean it's just as quick with the dauber and the the shimmer paint so I could mix it up depending on what I want to try but I also discovered this little idea here while I was doing all my different prototypes where I used the Starburst um, punch and created kind of like this, just chopped into it and created this little vellum flower. Um, but I thought it would be good for little backgrounds because it was when I was thinking of doing a circle sentiment. But I thought that was a really cool idea to just give it a little bit. It's better with a circle thing but yeah I was playing around with all sorts of different ideas today the creative juices were flowing now I'm going to do I'll use this one here because I think that's really pretty with our actually no I think the frost white one will go better because we've got the whisper white flowers and we're going to use our faceted gems now the best thing is these are staying over in the new annual catalog so i could use either of these the gold or the silver or clear as it says but what we might do with the clear just for a bit of fun is we wouldn't be able to do it with the shimmer paint because it's water based but with a blend we can totally color these in um so if someone wants to tell and Yes, glory to but literally I did this, I'll show you. I'll punch one out and show you. Because it's very, very easy. So we'll grab our punch. One, I'll do it down here because I put a bit of two. Oops, grab some other things there. Grabbed all the flowers. And then we did, I just stuck that down with the glue dot. 
actually before I did that, I did my shimmer. So Wink of Stella. So you can just give that a good shake. Come in with your Wink of Stella. And what I noticed with vellum is it's only going to work well with, um, with water base. Because if you use alcohol base, which I actually had to work, I had to Google to see if Wink of Stella was water base, which it is. So it works perfectly on the vellum. But if you use something alcohol based, because I wanted to try and put the rose gold um, paint on top with my rubbing alcohol, and it um, it like repelled it. So it only really works with this one. Now, if you want to speed up that process, last it take off because <laughs> otherwise it does take a little while to dry you want to speed dry it that one should be okay going to do is the first thing I did was bring it all in and squish it this way sort of create a fold towards the center of the flower and then all I did was just get my thumbnail and pinch because of the vellum it, you couldn't do this with regular cardstock but the vellum is quite pliable and easy to work with I mean you could totally get a scoring tool and blah 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 but Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, Anne's already a demo. Rachel, we got to meet her in Orlando. And she was there with three other deaf, or two other deaf women. And it was lovely to meet them all. Oops, that one was a little bit off centre. And then, oh, we didn't do the crease at the top here. I'm glad Anne asked about this because she would have been like, how did she do that? How is that like that? And then we do our glue dot and then we stick it down. Straight, of course, <laughs> in the right spot. So that's that. Now I'm just going to grab a, what have I got here that would be the right colour? I think we've got petal pink, but I don't know if it'll be dark enough. So we might have to play around with this. Now I figured out that the, the biggest gem is actually the best. So you just come in with your alcohol blends and you can colour these any colour you like. Yay, because it's fun. Yep, and I've got my awesome picker tool just to bring up. Oh, should I use this side? The spatula is easier with this. I seriously have used this with I don't know what, but I was very naughty and I didn't clean it afterwards. Oh my goodness, look at that! Just that touch of petal pink is so pretty. Oh, so pretty. You like the bending trick? Oh, that's good. Bend and snap. Should we call it bend and snap? <laughs> so, we can play around with this now. I think we'll start sticking. Stop playing and start sticking. So, first of all, we need to put our ribbon down. And I've got my tear and tape again. My awesome tear and tape. Sorry if I'm out of the view here. Make sure I can see what I'm doing. Actually, I might even move. I should always do this. I don't know why I don't. But I'll put it here. Because then I can see exactly what you see. Good. Ah, that's better. 
don't know why I've never done that. I'm learning something all the time. I was just talking to another demo today and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's like non-stop learning with this job. It's so awesome. So if you like learning, become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator because trust me, you never stop learning. So this punch is the perennial flower punch and it also comes with the uh, floral essence bundle. So if you wanted to get it in a bundle, you get 10% off and that is also available to put in your starter kit. So even the punch you could put in, literally this whole thing you could put into your starter kit and get all these brand new products now. So think about joining no matter where you are in the world consider it because it's awesome being a demonstrator so much better being a demo because you get discounts <laughs> there you go and then we'll put our beautiful sentiment there and we'll raise that up because dimensionals are awesome Bruno will be disappointed. He would have put four here. <laughs> four dimensionals. <laughs> oh, actually, I'll pop it up here in case you're wondering. There is my joining link for anyone who's in Australia and you're looking for a demo. And to my lovely customers, I keep telling you, but joining is the best thing. Oh, of course it's stuck. I'm like, why is it stuck? <laughs> That's because it's got this tear and tape. FYI, if you use your tear and tape, make sure you don't lay it onto your paper. Make sure you put it on the base of your cardstock. So we'll stick that down now so we don't stick it. Yes, Bruno is the dimensional king. Oh, Patricia wants to be a demo, but she can't. Because Stampin' Up! isn't in Switzerland. She would be a demo yesterday. <laughs> oh my goodness, this card is so pretty. And it's so feminine and so not me. <laughs> I don't ever do cards this feminine. Ah, oh, shout out, I can do pink and I can do feminine. First time ever. And then we're gonna place that there. Oh, so pretty. Do you not love this whole thing? I'm just going to put Tombow on, Tombow on this one. So beautiful. I'm just going to move that gem over a little bit. And I like it sort of layered on top of the sentiment because it just adds some beautiful texture there. Isn't it gorgeous? What do you think? <gasps> You take my breath away. <laughs> so that's the other one there. And that's our one there. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, playing around with different techniques and different ideas. Uh, but I know there and there, now that I can see everything properly in front of me, <laughs> I might actually get it on camera. But you can see that, yeah, with the Wink of Stella or even the Shimmer Paint, it's just such a beautiful card and literally love it, chop it. It's just the best thing for this beautiful paper. I don't think I would want to do anything other than make it the hero, the complete hero of this card, just with a tiny little accent, like a bow or the flower and colouring in. So I'm going to be really busy tonight doing, how many more have I got to go? 70 to go. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. But this lace ribbon, everything is just so, so, so pretty. And remember, you can colour it in as well if you wanted to. And very quick and easy too. You saw how fast that was. Uh, so have fun for all the demonstrators out there that have this paper. Enjoy. Make sure you love it. Chop it. Pull it out and um, make sure that you make the most of it because it's not good leaving it sitting on the shelf. It's just collecting dust. 
And if you find it challenging to chop your paper, the best suggestion that I can give you is to order two packs minimum. So you have one pack that you chop, one pack as backup, so that you feel like, you know what, it's okay, I'm allowed to chop because there's another one here. And then when you chop your, your pack of paper, I give you permission to order another pack because we want to use this beautiful paper. Majority of the paper in the catalog is 12 by 12, but please subscribe to my YouTube channel or here on Facebook, make sure you subscribe because very soon I will be doing a video to show you how to use your six by six paper uh, because I've had a lot of requests about that. And there are a few six by six packs with the in colors in the new catalog coming. So I will show you my best tips that can help you to be more creative and less restrictive too. You have a lot of freedom, a lot of creative freedom when you learn the technique of Love It, Chop It, because it really is about creating a card base. Uh, but with the six by six, you're left over with a little bit and I'll show you what you could do, different options you can do with the six by six. So thank you so much for being here for my surprise live. And remember that uh, this week over on my blog, kyliebatucci.com, we've got international highlights. So we're highlighting, highlighting blogs all around the world with a beautiful theme of encouragement. So please come over and vote for your favorites because the top 10 will get to go in a blog hop and have an awesome time. So please check that out this week. Also, we're hoping that the lovely Bruno Batucci will be doing a video for us this week and a project. I've already preempted him, but unless something happens in the next couple of days, that will be happening this week. So make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel or here on Facebook. Um, make sure you get all our notifications. I think you actually have to say get notifications at the top of the page. So make sure you're getting all of those alerts. And if you have any questions, anything you want to ask me, if you live in Australia and you're looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator to order through or to join with, we would love to look after you. We love looking after our customers. And I know that my customers are absolutely going to love these cards. <laughs> That's my photo. <laughs> um, so, oh, hi, Donna. You're so cute. She said, lovely way to relax watching you tonight. <laughs> Mr. Bulem. <laughs> Britta won't live that down, will he? <laughs> so thank you all for being here for my impromptu live and we shall see you very, very soon. Somewhere, someplace, who knows? Who, who knows when? No, definitely Friday, but there'll probably be a surprise one somewhere. So we'll see you soon. Bye everyone. Have a lovely, lovely week.